Karen Kelly from Early on Brantford Brant, and today I'm here to talk to you and to show you some special games that will help connect our brain to our bodies with some special movements that we're going to do. These special games are called midline games. These special games connect our brains to our bodies and will help us as we grow and think. So, these games will help communicate the corpus callosum that is a thick cable of nerves that allows our two brain hemispheres to communicate. This will help us as we grow and help us with level, our higher level of skills like reading and writing when later on as we go to school. So let's imagine an invisible line that runs down the center of our body all the way down. There's a left side and then you have a right side. But that middle line that runs down the center of your body is your midline. When you use your left hand and you reach over to the other side of your body to scratch or to rub or to reach over something, you're crossing that midline. Now kids do that naturally when they're throughout the day as they're playing or moving around, but some children need a little more help with activities to help them with these, these movements. You can help them on a daily basis with some fun exercises and activities right from home. So that's what I'm gonna show you today because the more the children are crossing that midline, the more they're able to uh, increase their level of movement and put their body working together um, to uh, cross lateral movements, making it easier for the both sides of the body to work together. And that becomes evident later on in life as they grow, putting on their shoes, their socks, getting themselves dressed, all kinds of things that they'll be able to do for themselves independently. So let's get started and show you some of the things you can be doing at home. It's never too early to start midline games. Even babies can play them with you. So I have my baby doll here. And for this midline game, baby could be laying down on the floor or in your lap. And all you're going to do is gently take babies, opposite arm, opposite leg, and bring them forward to touch. You could sing a little song as you do this. And switch. Just like that. Older siblings could play this game too, laying on the floor and doing the same thing. Remember, with a baby, never force the movement. If you're feeling any resistance, just stop that movement because obviously they're not in the mood to play this game. So that's an easy way to do crossing the midline with a baby. Also with their toy, you can do this when they're laying on the floor or seating up in your lap. When they start to reach for a toy with their hand, if they're reaching over, they're crossing their midline as well. So a baby that's on the floor, either on their tummy or on their back, if they're reaching across their midline, they're doing that activity. So that's some, an easy way for babies to naturally cross their midline. Some easy games for babies. This activity is called Crazy Socks. This is an activity where we're going to use our socks to help us identify our opposite foot and opposite hand. So, I want you to take a look at my feet. I have one foot. What color sock am I wearing? You're right, white. Look at my other foot. It doesn't match. I'm wearing a gray sock. Uh-oh, I wonder why. Here's two more socks and they don't match. I wonder what I'm going to do with them. 
I'm going to put the gray sock on my hand. And I'm going to put the white sock on my other hand. Do you notice anything? They're on the opposite side of my foot that has the white sock on and the opposite side of the gray sock. We did this on purpose so that we could play a game to cross the midline. So for this game, I'm going to try to touch my white sock hand to my white sock foot. Let's give it a try. Now let's try to touch the gray sock hand to the gray sock foot. Can you do that with your socks? We're going to turn the music on and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to do some different movements with my socks. Let's see if you can follow along. to get dressed often requires to cross the midline. Children must uh, build their bilater bilateral integration skills, which helps them use their left and right sides of the body together to perform these movements. By simply being aware of the importance of movements that cross the mid midline plays in your child's development, you can be aware of how you can provide fun activities and exercises at home for your child on a daily basis that will help them cross the midline. So try some of those games that we did today at home and see how much fun you can have with games that cross the midline. 
I hope you had fun today, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.